The Battleship Degree, Battleship Degree, written and read by worshipful brother Martin Bogardus. The battleship USS New Jersey, BB-62, for whom USS New Jersey Masonic Lodge No. 62 is named, is America's most decorated battleship and proudly served in World War II, as well as the Korean, Vietnam, and Gulf Wars. The entered apprentice toast was written on behalf of the Lodge as part of an ongoing effort by USS New Jersey leadership to personalize the initiatic experience of new candidates being brought in to our general craft. It is hoped that Brother Masons will draw inspiration from its words and write the next chapter of our celebrated history in verse. Come pass round the bowl. Let each jovial soul fill his tumbler this happy occasion. Though not on our legs, we must toast to the dregs. Here's a health to our newly made mason. But first let us teach, in a song, not a speech, like a padre who puts a grave face on, what we always expect from this sect so select as a USS New Jersey Freemason. Men of USS New Jersey, I hereby now decree that forged in the fiery furnace of famed Freemasonry, a worthy brother candidate came for our mysteries. Let's reavow to teach him now our battleship degree. Tonight you have learned through lessons discerned our battleship prentice degree, taught to ever conceal but never reveal its ancient arcane mysteries. And with each newfound step, my worthy adept, by skillfully applied application, hidden lessons you'll find and true friendship sublime as a USS New Jersey Freemason. Then in secrecy preach, not to tell what we teach, let this be your chief obligation, that at all times to come, let your watchword be mum, except to all that you know is a mason. With a hush, then they asked him from whence it he came, if from USS New Jersey, recorded by fame. From whence do I come from, and by what pedigree? Who oh, I am battleship tested by prentice degree. And I hereby swear, by compass and square, and to all things held sacred, divine that with gauge or by gavel would Cowans unravel the secrets of Masons sublime, and should ruffian bands in far distant lands ever try to lay a claim on, I'll never reveal and always conceal the secrets of being a Mason. For with mystic tie and darkened eyes I learned of Masonry, and have sworn to uphold from ruffians bold all its ancient mysteries. With brotherly love from heaven above, I pledged my solemn oath and obligation, and by the plum let me be struck dumb if I ever reveal this information. For who can unfold the royal art, or sing its secrets in a song? They are safely kept in a mason's heart, and to the ancient lodge belong. And though cowans and fools and sharp-wooded duels shall furtively challenge and prey on, they ne'er can divine any word or a sign of a USS New Jersey Freemason. We're true and we're loving, we're just and we're kind, and taught through our arts to respect all mankind. We circumscribe our hearts and parts in quiet contemplation. The golden rule our sacred tool to guide our faith and action. From time immemorial, Freemasonry stood, its tenets so noble, its precepts so good. It is built on a rock, both abroad and at home, and Masons are called to come polish the stone. By bricks and with mortar are Freemasons made, through the rules of our order and the tools of our trade. The finger of God, not a trowel or a hod, cements us in friendly relation. Now with great mortar affix its full value on bricks, 
for each brick is a worthy Freemason. Not with bricks and mortar alone doth secure God's holy favor, but burning bright shines Mason's light from the great architect, creator, and deeply etched on Mason's heart, sacred principles of life we base on, and by holy writ we won't acquit till all are worthy Masons. And should Masons meet on beggars' feet without a penny to their name, brought destitute but resolute, we would welcome them all the same. Whatever be their office rank, no matter low or high their station, with charity true, ever ready to do all we can for a poor brother Mason. For the Mason square doth clear the air of folly and deception. The rule is straight, the angle clear, for greatness has direction. When knelt in universal prayer with humble supplication, you'll find us there with upright squares as free and worthy Masons. We meet upon the level and we part upon the square. Wherever dispersed on God's green earth, look and find us there. And soon you will know how our hearts overflow, whatever be our rank or our station. As fellow craftsmen true blue, we now welcome you as a free and an accepted mason. But one final word yet, lest you ever forget to come here upon every occasion. And this we expect, for you must recollect, men of 62 made you a mason. Men of the hardy 62 of the battleship degree, forged in the fiery furnace of famed Freemasonry, fellow craftsmen one and all, may now we ever be, and worthily claim this title of the battleship degree. Men of USS New Jersey, will now you stand with me? Stand tall and raise your glasses all to each man loyal and free. And to our newly brother made, that may he always be, a worthy and true brother of the battleship degree. <laughs> That's all, folks.